Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about how to reverse a string in Java and this video is going to be my 28th video on my playlist Java playlist. So without wasting time, let's get started. First I'm going to explain you theoretically and I will take my laptop and I will execute that program practically. So in this video you are going to see both practical and theoretical explanation of how to reverse any string in your Java. When I say reversing a string in Java, I mean when your input is let's say MKT. If your input is this, how to reverse is, I mean this is my input that I'm trying to do and I'm expecting output as TKM, just the reverse of it. I have written it like this, but I'm expecting an output from here. First this, then this, and then this. So this is my input and this is my output. How to write this? And guys, believe me, 99% of your interview question, if you have less than three or four years of experience, 99% there is a chance that if you are applying for a position of automation testing or SDET, this is one of the favorite questions which will be asked to reverse the string in most of the organization. So let's get started. So let's directly start with the public static void main main method. And in main method, you have to first create a string, right? So let's create a string as string. Your string may be maybe your input equals to maybe st by m k t this is my input this is the string value that i am passing and i am expecting the reverse of it so my output should be t k m y b t s this is my input i am expecting the output and let's create one more string to store the value so let's give the output string as just insert the double quotes nothing is at the present moment and the reason nothing is there at the present moment because this is my output which is not yet ready if you guys understand now output i have written nothing just the in i have just taken output insert the double quotes is because i'm expecting my output should come here later which is not yet ready now right so that's the reason i have written my output should be here and then we can have a for loop guys the reason i need a for loop because my input is this and i need to do something with this particular string and get the output as t k m y b t s for that sake i need to write for loop and to write my for loop i will use one string function that we have which is called as if your input is st by mkt so you can write your function as input dot length the output of input dot length will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 will be the length of this particular input but you know that this is actually to calculate your length of the string but you know that in a string it actually starts with 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 which I have already explained in my multiple Java videos. So if you write input dot length, you will get the length of the string, which is nothing but my seven. So if you remember, you, you have to get the output from backward, right? You have to get your output from T. So for that sake, your I will be equal to input dot length minus one. The reason I have taken input dot length minus one is because input dot length will give me seven. You guys know already. But the reason I am taking minus one because your string will start from zero to six, right? It will start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six till six. So I am telling that first give me the value whatever you are having at the sixth position. My first i should be my six. So I hope you guys are understanding now. I can delete this particular thing for your better understanding so that you don't misunderstand what I'm teaching. That one, two, three, four, five, six, seven was to make you understand that what input dot length will give me. 
and then it should continue till i greater than or equal to 0 which is nothing but this i value should continue until my i value is always greater than greater than 0 which is greater than 0 and it should also continue till my i equal to 0 i hope this is very clear to you if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and then i'm telling that it should always decrement it the reason i'm telling i minus minus is because i want to get the output from 6 till 0 i want to come i want to decrement each time the i value because i'm trying to get first 6 then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, and then 0 because I'm coming from back to front, right? So, this is how your for loop will look like. And after writing this, you can write it as your output should be equal to, should be equal to output plus. Now, we are going to use the second string function that you have. So second string function that you need in this particular program is called as char at i. This char at i is nothing but character at i. If I do character at 6, it will give me character at 6 is nothing but equal to t. If I do char at 2, it will going to give me the output whatever is there at the 2 position which is nothing but b. If I do character at 5, it is going to give me k. So I hope this is very clear to you now. So I need to perform that in my input, whatever the input I'm writing, right? So my input dot character at i. Now what this will do is it will first create a for loop and the first i value will be input dot length minus one which is nothing but six so first time i value is six and then it will make sure that whether the condition is satisfying or not whether this six is greater than or equal to zero or not yes it is if it is true then it will proceed further so if it is if it will proceed further your output which is nothing but your output is equal to output which is nothing but nothing is there now so let's say nothing plus input dot character at i which is nothing but your i value is 6 now so at 6 we have t so your output now will be t and then it will decrement the value of i which is nothing but it will make it as 5 now i value and now it will check whether i is greater than or equal to 0 or not yes it is so your output now will be output which is nothing but you have output as now t so t plus input dot character at i now character at i is nothing but character at 5 which is nothing but your k so now your output will be t k it will run until you get your i value equals to 0 so this for loop will continue until your i equal to 0 so if i if i that is nothing but 0 is equal to 0 yes so your output will be output which is nothing but your that time output will be your t k m y b t plus character at 0 which is nothing but s so finally your output will be t k m y b t s so your input was s t by m k t software testing by m k t and your output is t k my BTS. So this is your output. So if you observe here, I have done one mistake. If you have found out until now, please let me know in the comment section. If you have not found out until now, let me correct it for you. So whenever you are initializing your I, you have to give the data type of it. What kind of data type it, it is now? If your i is storing values as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what should be the data type of it? You have to mention it here, which is nothing but my for loop int i. This is a mistake which I did. And now, after getting this, you can do the print of it. System.out.println and inside that, you can print out your output.
if you print out this you will get this output guys this looks very simple now let me tell you that this is one of the most asked question in any interview if you are applying for the position of automation testing or automation engineer so this question can be asked to you if you are applying for a position of automation engineer for less than three years of experience or even four years of experience this question is very favorite which most of the people will definitely ask you now let's go ahead to actually execute the same thing in your laptop and see what is the output so let's create a class let's give the class name as st by mkt with the main method as public static void main the moment if i create it i can see the main method is already main method has already come now so let me create a string let's give the let's give the name of the string is input equal to string value probably will be st by mkt and then let's create another string as output string let's not store anything on the output string now because the reason i have created is because i am going to store my output in this particular string now let's create a for loop so in for loop i will write it as integer i equals to input dot length minus one and then i always greater than and equal to zero and then it should continue until my i value is equal to zero which is nothing but at zero position i have s the reason i have taken i minus minus because i'm trying to go from backward to forward if i'm going from forward to backward if i'm going from forward to backward then it would be i plus plus and then i'm writing this particular output because i'm expecting the output now so i will write output is equal to output plus in input character at i and then you are going to print it system dot out dot print ln the value of output and then after writing your for loop and the body inside your for loop remove the brackets which i had written it here starting and closing and then you can run it is you can run this if you see my input was st by mkt your output is ek my bts which is nothing but st by mkt which is nothing but software testing by mkt which i have reversed it with my program so this is one of the easiest program which you can expect in any of the interview if you are applying for the position of automation testing or automation engineer or SDET. Guys, if you think this video was useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MGT and please share this video with your needy friends. In case you have any kind of doubt, list out all your doubt in the comment section. If you want to reach to me out, I have added all my social media in the link description. Please check it out. I will definitely reply to you. It's a promise. Thank you guys. See you in the next video with some amazing content. Thank you guys. Take care.